Okay, here we are back in the treatment room because um, this is the best place to show how to work that multivitus. Everyone's talking about multivitus and it's one of the hardest exercises to get going. It's hard for the patient. It's, it's really difficult to feel where those muscles are working and if you've had pain in your back, a lot of the time those muscles are not working and it's really hard to activate them. So I'm going to give you some ideas of how this exercise works and what you're trying to achieve and what you're, you're trying to feel for and aim for. So the best thing is, obviously, if you don't have a treatment table, just on the floor. But for this sort of purpose, so you can see what I'm doing, I'm up on the treatment table. What I want you to think about is your multivitus is a set of muscles on each level that can work segmentally, meaning on that level, or they can work all together to stabilize the spine. So in this case, we're trying to aim for one level at a time because most of the time we're dealing with people with pain on one or two levels and that areas where the multivitus is not working, that's where they destabilize, and we've got to try and bring it back. But to get it activated, what you need to work on is your pelvic floor and your transversus first. So if you haven't already done that, go back and have a look at the videos on transverse abdominis and pelvic floor. Make sure you've got that organized so you know how to switch that on and keep that on while you're breathing, so then you can then focus on the multivitus. Right? So first things first, if you're working on the left-hand side, what you want to work on is trying to get and feel where that multivitus is. So if you aim for the bony part here of your SIJ, okay, so coming just above the pelvis, obviously not in the midline, you want to be just, just across from the midline above that bony point, and then you're deep over that L4 region. Okay, and if you go a bit lower, you're over L5. And what you're feeling for is where that muscle contracts. So your thumb's there, and what you want to work on is making sure you're in pelvic neutral. So the worst thing you can do is then go arch your back like that, because that's just going to jam you up and it's not going to help very much. But what you've got to try and do is then go for where's neutral, it's not arched, it's not rounded all the way, it's about halfway in between, and trying to maintain that neutral position there. Feeling for what's going on here, the muscles, letting them relax. And when you breathe out and lift up your pelvic floor, you then got to try and tighten those multivitous muscles. Now, it's hard for you to see because most of these exercises, you're actually feeling for those muscles working. And if you see it bouncing up, you're probably working the extensors too much, and that's when you're actually extending the spine, those big extensor muscles kick in. But sometimes you can see a subtle difference. So if you watch me, if you have a look at this one here, okay? You watch my thumb, and I'll bring on my pelvic floor first, and then I'll tighten it up. And you can probably see it rise there, and then I'll let it relax. So I want to find my neutral spine, pelvic floor on, try and tie that muscle, there it comes on there, you see that come on, and then relax. And what we want to aim for is bringing that muscle on and off with our breath out, so when you breathe out, you bring it on, when you breathe in, you let it go. Trying to do that for quite a few repetitions and build up that awareness, and then trying to hold it on to try and create that endurance and that tone that can last for a long period of time so you can last through a set of squats or a set of um, lifting exercises without it turning off. Um, so that's your multivitus, what we call multivitus prime. Once you've got that sus and you can, you can do that exercise quite well, you then need to work on advancing that exercise to start moving the limbs. So if you'd come up into, say, all fours, where, and again, you want to be making sure, I'll show you here, you don't want to be arched into this position, you want to be not into fully flexion, you want to be halfway in between and try and find that nice neutral position. And then, because you, you can either put one hand on your back, but it's better if you've learned how to do that, you're aware of that, and so you know how much to bring it on, is you bring on that power floor, and again, you can't see much on the video, but it's about how you're feeling. Tightening that multivitus muscle in the back there, and then trying to stabilize that weight through your hands and your knee, and trying to slide one leg back and then bring it in without your pelvis moving around. So the, the idea of multivitus is to try and stabilize the spine with your transversus and pelvic floor to keep your spine stabilized while you move your limb, that low level ability there. So this position here, making sure when you go back, you don't go and arch your back. Um, because a lot of people will go, okay, I've got to switch on my back muscles and they'll go and extend when they do that. So your mission is to keep it neutral while you move back and forward. And of course, 
The slower you go, the longer the time, the harder it is, and you've really got to think about what you're doing with multiplicitous there. So remember, activate it first, okay? Get the feeling, get your fingers in there, work out how much you need to bring it on, make sure you're not bringing on too much and, and using your overactive extensors. And then once you've learned how to do that for quite a long period of time, like quite a few days, then you can progress into a, that four point leg slide and try and then maintain the neutral spine using that multiplicitous idea and sliding your legs back and forth. But a take home tip for that is try and remember that your multiplicitous, you're trying to swell the muscle up or tighten the muscle in your lower back without extending your back. Very important that you don't extend your back, you just swell up and tighten it up. And then at the same time, what you're trying uh, to think about, if you're struggling with that, is in this position, try not to extend your lower back up to your head. A lot of people say, oh, float your, float your tailbone up to your head, but they end up extending their back. So it's a more about what we call a ground swelling. So if you imagine this is your multiplicitous, or sorry, this way, this is multiplicitous, you're trying to just tighten it to push up into your finger or your, or your thumb. So you're not trying to bounce it up. If it's bouncing up and hitting your thumb and pushing your thumb away, you probably find you're actually overusing the, the um, extensor system and you're extending your back. So it's a very low level exercise, a very difficult exercise, but one that works wonders for the stability of your spine.